Hello, this is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Yes, ahoy, matey. Love. Do, 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 do. Exciting and new. Ooh. Go online. Hmm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Fiance. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 day Beyonce. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. Be they French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. <laughs> It's reality, yay, let's blow! Uh, so, uh, I'm in Ukraine. Uh, one thing I noticed, uh, Sasha, uh, Malia, there ain't no black people here. Shocker. <laughs> Did we amp bing Ukraine? <laughs> I... I, I I understand the shock, but he must have been prepared for that. He must have been. Pre- I no, I don't think Caesar was. I don't think <laughs> Caesar was prepared for anything. <laughs> clearly, clearly, you know what it is. C- clearly, he's he's fifty years old. He has lived a life, but. What life? Is there is there a social awkwardness that kind of prohibits him from having some type of normal relationship with other people? There's something going on. Because yeah. Because what I wrote, y'all, this is a single life. We're just jumping in. TSL Before we jump in, season three, episode two, make me a match. If you're maker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine. Catch me a catch. Um. So this is going up on Tuesday. Tuesday for people on the Patreon and Supercast. Tonight, right? tonight for um, so for Monday. Patri- no, tonight Wait. for Patreon and Supercast. Yeah, Tuesday night. Tonight, which is Monday, it goes up tonight. That's what I say. So it goes up Monday. And it, so if you're listening, <laughs> and then our tonight, which is Monday, and then it goes up for Tuesday for everybody else yes. on the regular feed. I say that up because we keep saying this, but I think it's keep still important. It's, Y'all do your Googling, do your Aunt Binging, whatever you need to do. Find out, like, educate yourself on what's happening in Puerto Rico and send them our love. Send them money if you can to different organizations. Cause Lynn Manuel Miranda just tweeted out, um, I'm going to fuck this up. It was an organization that was uh, on the ground in oh, Puerto great. Rico. Um, great, 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 say, great. Here, talk while I look this up. I sure. Can, I can find if it. If you haven't been paying attention, I posted on my own Instagram just a harrowing video of. A bridge. It's kind of making the rounds all over. I think uh, a lot of news people are reporting and showing as well. But it's a that bridge just that had just been completed, and it's horrible and riveting. But I mean, horrible. You can't. I've seen this bridge being wa- this new bridge being washed away by rushing waters, and just all something that takes years, months to build is just you see it ripped out of the ground in just ten seconds, and it is. Horrifying. Uh, it's the Hispanic Federation. Um, you can find them on Twitter at Hispanic Fed, um, and they are doing. Uh, they are in the on the ground right now. So, because uh, when we're recording this, the country is still, uh, or the state is still without pa- power. Yeah, not a state, actually. Yeah. That's, uh, well, the territory. Uh, territory. Were, yes, territory. Yes. Um, so, um, anyway. Um, the island, yes, the island is still to, without power. Still without power. So uh, anyway, we just want to bring awareness to that because we know we have some sissies there. So and they're just part, you know, they're our, and just our, our normal people who people. care about people. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And don't drop them off in crazy places in the U.S. for political stunts <laughs> because they're actual human beings. Yes, yes, and that's not political. That's not really blue. I'm very glad now. I'm very glad. Hopefully we have a, uh, hopefully no one's throwing paper towels when they go to Puerto Rico this time. (laughs) I'm hoping for that. Double it, y'all. The double it tour coming to a town near you. If you live on the East Coast in a major metropolitan area. (laughs) It's true. 
Um, in five cities. Oh, Poodle's birthday extravaganza. If someone figured out what I want to do. Uh, I have. Got some uh, ideas. I don't care if that's my birthday. Well, you know. I'll overrule it. Well, I'll do it that night. If you put something, even if you surprise me. No, I don't know. Your those hair phones, uh, those air, air those, hair those, phones. Those, those it, they look like hair phones. Your earphones when your hair is long, you uh, look like Clarabelle. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, that wasn't that wasn't oh, a compliment. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Poodle. <laughs> Sending me love. <laughs> I'll remember that for your birthday show, y'all. But for that second night of Tampa, remember, same hose, different, different shows. shows. Anything goes. Anything. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bring your husband, bring your boyfriend, uh-huh. or bring your hot cousin. They ain't related we'll to us. Oh, get in the menagerie. Not related to us. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're very excited for Tam. I-, I still hope Libby reaches out to you to have a voice. Maybe lesson. you're gonna. Aren't you? You're gonna do a reaction video, aren't you? I need to. Yeah. 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 Oh, you should tell Christina. She'll let, do a little thing for you. An edit. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I should have done that. Can, yep. we, can we not talk about show business? That's fine. <laughs> anyway, y'all, check our TikTok, Reality Gaze, and check our Instagram, Reality Gaze Podcast. That's where you can get that information. You can also go to our, see our memes. And you, because we're up in our meme game, and you can go to our Linktree link to get tickets for the Double It Tour. Yes. All those things. All those things. Uh, What else? Anything else? I think I will say, y'all, if you don't listen, it's fine. But if you have or whatever, we're doing single life. And then after this, we're covering Below Deck Med. And, oh, I was so excited that classic Sandy came back. I'm ready for it. Well, she's starting to – one thing about Sandy that she can't handle is when things are the least bit unorganized. Because it just bugs the fuck out of her. Oh, And she kind of has a freak out. She did. It's good. Anyway. It's it's good to see her kind of like it's it's that really it's also that passive aggressive yeah. thing that she's well known for yeah yeah but yeah. also there's a lot more aggression it's like twenty percent passive eighty percent aggression yeah it's a good season I'm liking it yeah I think I think we we've, we've got the most unqualified chief stew or the one of the worst chief stews in a while yeah she's not good yeah she's not good yeah who's skating by. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Well, and her boy. Yeah. Anyway, we're not covering that show. We're not going to talk about it. But I'm saying it's clearly we're starting to talk about it. It's yeah. good. So anyway, check it out. But something that to me is even better is, God, I love the single. I also love that it's only 48 minutes. I forget the first well, now, episode's longer. Yeah. And it, but it just, oh, y'all, the menagerie. We've got a new part. Veronica, the kind of normie. She's the normie. this season. <sighs> and uh, uh, full disclosure, we know her. And we, too. we 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 probably will come for her, although that's kind of hard to do. If if, if we have something, we've taken issue with something, we will come for her. But I I, uh, I, I, I will I will uh, I will text her and say we coming for you, girl. I think she'll be fine with that. I think she will too. She knows we love her. And she knows we love her. It's, it's fairness. It's fairness. So probably it's not gonna be her. We come for it's no. Probably gonna be more Tim. Yeah. It's probably gonna be more y'all. Chester Cheetah is Who's, back. Uh, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I got my vape pen and I'm ready to go. He got a new haircut too. Yeah, I just had the guy. I said, just drive that thing right through my hair. <laughs> got a girlfriend waiting on me. <laughs> it's your boy. Ain't easy. Ooh, that Being took my cheesy. heart back to our very first season yes, of that was Before the 90 first Days. Season. It was our season two, but Veronica. Jennifer, Jennifer and Jesse broke up. <laughs> Apparently now uh, Tiger King is tweeting Who about, else can make it work? Yeah, if they well, can't make it work, who can? Well, now Tiger King and Jesse, because he's tweeting that Jesse has him in his corner <laughs> with pictures of him. You know... If you would have put that on that bingo card of them two kind of forming a friendship, first I would say no, and then I go, no, wait, it's perfect. It's perfect. They're both absolute, So they're both so thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. Your 15 minutes is over, Tiger King. I know. It's done. That was, that was 2020, Tiger King. Oh, which reminds me, y'all, speaking of 2020, Love is Blind. I forgot Season about the thing. Season Trey. Season Trey. We are. Trace. Trace. 
we are we're gonna have three an, for most of you. Three. We're gonna have an <laughs> announcement next week about Love Is Blind that's gonna go up yes. on the on the regular ninety day show. Big announcement coming. I'm on it. <laughs> You're on it. <laughs> So Sorry stupid. I spoiled it. I'm on the show. I'm- <laughs> I stuck in as one of the women <laughs> in a wig. <laughs> and no one and no one suspected no a thing. One, no one yeah, you, you said yes. I'm here. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to find a husband. You said you can lift me up on your back at any concert. <laughs> yeah, I'll ride you around all right. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Yeah, you will. Anyway, y'all. Spoiler alert, I'm not on the show, but season three is coming out October 19th. Yep. We're very, it's just an exciting little, we're going to do our yeah. tour. Exciting little kind of birthday little smorgasbord. You're getting all the gifts. Birthday little smorgasbord. Yeah, we have your birthday and then our birthday, the oh, little extravaganza. The and then the next week you're getting Love is Blind. That's true. Oh, I guess it is. I, I just never heard you say the word smorgasbord before, yeah, and it kind of grossed me out. Smorgasbord. And then, hey, I'm poor Granny. I love it. Smorgasbord. You lick my, you lick my old Granny pushy, then you lick me in the ass. It's a smorgasbord. <laughs> Stop. I'm doing, Granny. Stop it. Anyway, um, thank you to Netflix, who has been a wonderful media partner with us and is allowing us access. And so, Love is Blind is going to come out on the 19th, and our shows are going to, uh, uh, whatever they release on the 19th, because uh, they think they do it in batches, but yeah, we will be will dropping drop all of our shows on that on as many as on they the, have the next day, right on the next that twelve oh one on the twentieth. Yes, Pacific time. Yes. Anyway, Hawaii, I guess, gets it early. <laughs> You're lucky. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, let's jump into this because I've never been more excited to talk about Caesar. Things I didn't think I was going to say. What, say why you're so excited. I, I, I'm excited <laughs> because, well, first of all, it, well, we'll talk. I'm excited because he doesn't get it. He does not. That's he, why he's perfect for reality he's television. He's perfect for reality television. And I actually found myself, y'all, again, Caesar was our first season that we t- covered. Yeah. Before the 90 Day Season 2. Now that I've seen the litany of men that are that are so shitty to women and just yeah. are not even men, if we look at Kimberly, of uh, people that just want to basically financially own yeah, people it, from other countries, he's, this guy's in it for love. I, I think I, this guy. Now, yes. granted, is he subjecting? <laughs> is he sexualizing specifically Ukrainian women? Yeah, and, and yes. But I think his optimism and naivete are endearing. There's not a malice in it. It no. doesn't feel like there's a power of ownership in it. It's just like, hey, I really like blonde Ukrainian women. I had one woman that was attracted to me that I thought this is what I'm into. Who I paid her six hundred dollars a week. But <laughs> but I and maybe I'm being naive, but I don't. You are. That's okay. I, but I don't. <laughs> then, educ- then I don't see the David and Lana. I don't see the Kimberly oh, and Usman. I'm, I don't think. I, I don't I, think you can paint all of them with the same brush. I don't I see agree. the Angela and Michael in this. I don't see the I'm an American kind of. No. It, if if it's there, it is subtle. Um, and I don't believe anything about Caesar is subtle because he's too just let's be honest not intelligent enough probably to be subtle he's a dummy so <laughs> it's very much and I don't so. mean this is defending i'm like y'all show me come at me but when i watch this i feel us uh, in a weird way completely skeezed out but then also this sweetness that can this <laughs> happen for him no like absolutely will, not absolutely but, not but will a ukrainian woman go Here's a mark that's perfect for me, but I feel like maybe, but they're always because because he refuses to engage at a level that is not his level. Yeah, because he's only wanting the prettiest girls, the prettiest blonde white Ukrainian girls. Uh huh. That's what he wants. Uh huh. And with that, he is setting aside all other things about love. He only Agreed. sees he only sees the the, the outside package the object. And, yes, and the other may come later. 
but yeah. he's just not too concerned with it. But he also feels like if he sees the outside package and he's in that, that's almost like what he's, that's enough for him to qualify as love. I believe I guess. so. I believe so. It's really fascinating to watch him, to be honest. Um, I just think, I think he doesn't read any social cues. No. And his, his understanding of, Male and female relationships uh, stopped at age 10. Yeah. I mean, are you, how are your feelings watching it now, kind of with different eyes? Because now I feel like we had open eyes the first season. And now, y'all, we, we've seen, you know, we see some guy piss on some other guy in the alley, and they're like, I gotta say harder. Yeah. Like I- we're <laughs> jaded now. So, what, what, how do you feel when you watch Caesar now? Is it different? Um- I I do feel a little bit of empathy, but we're going to watch him act a fool. Oh, yes. And he's perfect because there is no awareness. What he thinks is going to, quote unquote, get women, he's Not so wrong. He's so and, wrong. And, and wrong in only a way that could be funny. Yeah. So I, for him, I see him as a clown. Yeah. And and so I don't necessarily get very emotional when I, now what he's the special kind of cringe because as a clown he he does seem to be earnest. That I believe. Yeah, that's the word. There's an earnestness yeah, to him. I I don't necessarily think I, I don't think you can put earnestness and being a good person together. <laughs> no. I I don't. Uh nor nor do I think nor do I think there's a there, there's like this pure, nice Americanness to him because I don't really see that either. No, um, but I, I don't see him as a bad person. No, it's just it's hard to see because he's definitely putting up some kind of idea for us to for yeah. us to see. Um, and I think he is trying to live on television. He's trying to live a life that is bigger than the life he lives. Oh, for sure, and. This, like I, <laughs> yeah. So let's jump. First of his all, his fiftieth birthday is coming soon. Soon, and it's weird. He says, "I don't have much time left." It's almost like he turns fifty-five, even though he probably looks similarly. He, he's not going to be attractive anymore. It, it's Caesar. I don't understand this rationale. He, I think a lot of it is that they're trying to find the production on this storyline is trying to find a way to up the, the stakes, stakes yeah. even more for him. But 50 is a big age. And yeah. it's, uh, you know, Debbie keeps talking about for her, keeps talking about being right. 70. But with I, Debbie, I get that. She feels like she is running out of time. And that's valid. That's why, that's why this storyline of him saying 50, and especially for men, Y'all, men can men can be older and still get younger women. It does. It is not the reverse. Yeah. And so for him to say that's kind of like, oh come on. But he probably doesn't. I don't know if he realizes that. He might again, not again because he seems so clueless. Yeah. Um. It was kind of. Uh. It would. It was kind of. This was filmed in December. It was heartbreaking seeing how beautiful the city was mm-hmm. and knowing now what had happened. Well, Keeve hasn't been as. As hit as by some true, of the others, true, but right. but yeah, the the eastern part of the of this the of city. the country has been, has country, been yeah. really bad off. Yeah. So I'm glad that they put that thing before. Um, so yeah, so he's going to meet these women, and uh, Katrina, the matchmaker. He meets. I'm going to say this again. I've admitted this before. Who's real? <laughs> Who's real? She's real. Uh, that shirt, see the shirt Caesar wears to meet her. I fucking had that shirt from Old He's, Navy. He has he has worn that it's shirt. Two shirts now I've had of Caesars. <laughs> I don't like that feeling. <laughs> don't like so, it. So y'all, Caesar's quite real. Strangely so, enough, so he's quite real. So it just shows you his nice shirt to wear is Old Navy, right? When he's going to be with all those other people. Well, don't worry. He's dressing up for yeah, the occasion. Yeah, he's dressing up. So yes, we meet Katarina, the matchmaker. Um, and so she tells him, she says, oh, you look fit. Now we oh, she knows what to say. Oh, this is such a bullshit artist. I have had 70 couples since 2013, and I keep in touch with all of them. D- did Katarina go to the school? Olga Pudelskaya School? Yes. For girls to meet a uh, Chinese rich businessman? Literally, because um, there is a rich businessman I on the I think... 
I think that she went to a school that's comparable, but I think the Olga Pudelskaya school is for only the savviest girls who uh, will do anything. <laughs> oh, anything. Okay. That was also the title, uh, School for Ogle Put a Sky for Girls Who Will Do Anything to Get Rich Chinese Businessmen. So maybe – she had to shorten it, copyright yeah. issues. So maybe when the maybe when women go to Katarina's matchmaking service, if they don't get someone, someone comes to them when they're walking down a dark alley and says, you will find love maybe. or something. I think Call this Olga's, number. Olga's school isn't about that. It's like you take this into your own hands. But you're, no, you're your own boss. Like they, they just come out of an alley and say, yeah. do you want to find me? And they just hand do them Do you a, want to find me? You're going to have to work for it. And they hand them a dead bird. And they go, what the <laughs> fuck is this? And they have to figure it out. Yo, she's a, she's, she is a girl boss. Yeah. I hate that term, but she is. <laughs> she teaches you to be your own girl boss. She does. That was Maria. Maria was a girl boss. She was. She was. So Otherwise known as a boss. So... There, she's saying so. Katarina says he seems attractive, and she said she even mentioned she's like I, I think it'll be good for him. I don't have a lot of black clients, and <laughs> so she said, I think she said I don't think she said I think she said I've never done this for a black colored person before, and that Did was she her. Say colored. I think she said or black person with black skin. Black skin. That was yes, what it was. That's what she said. Yes. Um, and they for start a black skinned person. That's what it was. And Caesar starts talking about well, I know how to take care of a woman. Because I can do her nails. <laughs> and she went, oh, oh. Oh. She's like, that's not popular profession you, for men. You can't you can't replicate this. That's why you know it's real. It's real. He is more than happy to tell anyone who will listen that he is a nail tech. And I'm again, that kind of endears him to me in a way that he's taking something. Yeah. Because I again though, it. he doesn't even I mean he know he knows, but he doesn't he's still a fucking creep. But he's so dumb he doesn't <laughs> even get the shame. Like no. he shouldn't have shame. He's the, the, the I, best no it's that's he the, shouldn't have shame if he's being, a nail tech, but the fact that he has no shame in it, I'm like good him for you. Being a nail tech is the best thing about him. It really is. He actually says <laughs> it looks he's like, is that a solar nail? Yeah, points that she's like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's like, like yeah, well, I'm I a nail tech. I can take care of women's feet and their feet and their toes. And uh, and she says, I can tell, you know, you you are a good man. I can tell this. She's like, just choose with your heart. He's like, okay, I'll remember. <laughs> Y'all, Yo, he, he forgot that five minutes after. He forgot that. I, he's like, I'm not Mark, for, fit for everyone, but Mark I'll try. My words. He's going to go up to – he's going to have like a top four in the room, and it's going to be the prettiest girls he talks to. Oh, for sure. He's he's not able – There something something with his relations with women, There there's something that says if he doesn't get the prettiest one, uh, that either he's, he's not worthy or something. I think, Caesar, if you ask him, like, what celebrity are you most like? He will say Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> he will. I think that is his sense of self. It's very You're right. It is it's like, like what you said. Separate from this, who he really the is. Confidence of a a of a of a moderate if people could just have half the confidence of a mediocre, mediocre white man. And this is he's not a white man, mediocre but still, black man. But he has of a straight man. Yeah. He has this type of confidence that I don't know where it comes from. It, but I think he thinks when he goes to these beautiful women. He thinks of himself like that. And the weirdest thing is, so they talk about the meet and greet where he's going to meet 15 oh, ladies. So good. And uh, he's dressing up, y'all. He's in a suit. I think doesn't it, fit. It's in an ill-fitting suit with a bow tie, with a vest. The neck doesn't fit. The neck no. is too... This, it looks like he lost weight since he bought the suit or he borrowed the suit from someone who was bigger. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought, too. That's what I think, too. Um, but... Then I don't know where he got this top hat. Like it blew by on the street in Ukraine. And like like went, snow. Wait. Like like uh, what's his name? Like Frosty, Frosty the, the snowman. snowman. Yep. And he put, Frosty. Frosty. I'll get you, Frosty. <sighs> That's can, my magician. We game. can't go into that. You have an obsession <laughs> with that cartoon. That's an that show is an allegory. Uh, well, I won't have, go into it. 
But there's a whole thing where I talk about Frosted the Snowman also, and how fucking dark God, it was. It also, his hat doesn't match. No, that's what I'm saying. That, it's, it's a black hat and he has a gray you, suit. You would wear this with like a black tailcoat. Yes. In the most fanciest of opera galas. You could maybe do a white coat with black pants, but like something black to match it and coordinate. It's just a completely gray suit with a powder blue tie and then a black hat. He thinks he's a rapper. I think that's he. There's this. He's, he's I using think fashions like you, that. You said it when we were having a call with uh, with our sissy team, our producer uh, Christina and Caitlin. Um, and you said he's dressed as the Monopoly man. And I actually think <laughs> maybe a rapper, but I think this is what Caesar thinks you dress For as when you're, when you're rich. Yeah, you wear. He actually thinks. Rich people wear this in their homes to have dinner. It's like, and he does kind of. He doesn't live, know they're wearing fucking Lululemon. He lives in his mind of these fantasies of himself. It's like the saddest version of the Secret Life of Walter Mitty ever. Yes, <laughs> the saddest. It's a great movie by with Danny Kaye. Um, <laughs> that's an old reference. That is very old reference. Um. So, I'm so riveted watching this. And then even more, he gets in. There's a limousine. He's like, what? It's a limousine. I'm dressed appropriately. I mean, he didn't he, say that, but he's thinking that. He walks in, and there are these four other three, three other. other sex offenders. I mean, uh, these they are three. <laughs> they are just three white men who look sketches. Fuck. <laughs> One of them's hot. The crypto guy is hot. <sighs> yeah. He looks creepy, though. But I te- I'm telling y'all. These these men have all been have all spent too close to playgrounds. No, he's wearing like, a. He looks weird with his hair and his sweater. He looks like I'm somebody would it. make a podcast about him. But the but the Russian guy y'all definitely stole sold state secrets and <laughs> yes and there's a crypto dealer because of course there <laughs> is of course there is and then Jerry who's a, a golf, golf pro, pro who kind of. I don't know Jerry's life. That guy definitely took his daughter to a daddy daughter ball. Oh, daddy daughter <laughs> ball, but also he's at a golf he sits there and he looks at Caesar kind of like you have no business being here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Read into that what you want, but I was a little bit like what? They, and they it kind of leans out, back even. They find out he's a nail tech and they're well, like they all, oh. they literally all it's like if this is scripted it's like Golf pro. The guy's like, because Caesar yeah, asked, Caesar asked, what I do they Bitcoin. do? I Bitcoin. And the guy's like, hey, the guy over international here. International businessman. The guy over here is like, yes, international businessman. Yo, and they say, that, that man runs a country. He runs a country. <laughs> and it's killed people. And then he yes. says, oh, Caesar, what do you do, Caesar? Nail tech. I'm sorry. I'm going to need that in the Caesar voice. Uh, I'm a nail tech. Uh, <laughs> it is a very, it's very fulfilling for me. <laughs> Mm. Oh, shit. It's so it's so it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> but um, and so he kind of tells them the Maria story about them. Well, he not kind of. He just says, "I met a Ukrainian woman. I was giving her eight hundred dollars a week." And, and they, they all go, "Oh, oh, <laughs> um." Okay, and, and even like golf pro sex offender over here is like that's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, he's like that's a lot. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, they're all in the registry. And th- there is no doubt, and this is like an international ring. Oh yeah, they oh are for these sure. Men. And that Bitcoin guy now is broke. Yeah, and so Caesar st- sitting there going, "So you guys like Ukrainian women?" They're like. Yeah, we're not talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're yeah, not. We are. We're not talking about Fight Club. We are. We didn't even know we were going to be on TV. <laughs> like they could tell that they're like, wait a minute, or is this an episode of like Dateline or some shit? Because <laughs> it's, it's why to catch would, a predator at any moment? They really probably think like, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the guy who does Punked. Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher is just going to pop in that thing. No, they any think, minute, or they that think guy from Keith. What's his name? Keith gonna... Richards. No, Keith no. Watley. No, Keith none of those. Aaron. No, Keith. What is his name? The date the, with the Dateline, Dateline women would are be, screaming. Would, would They're destroy screaming. you. They're screaming. Keith, not Keith Harrison. That's someone I know. Um. um uh. Hey Siri, who's the host of the Dateline show? <laughs> no, it just. Uh, 
It's not going to be Stone th- Phillips. It's not Stone Phillips. It's not. Oh, that was. No, oh, you need to, to catch Her- a predator. That oh, was the name okay. of it. With you know what? We'll figure God. it out. Tweet us out. Um, hey Siri, who was the host of To Catch a Predator? Chris Hansen did it for a while. I think we're both. We're Keith Morrison. Morrison. Yes, like Van. So anyway. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> of course. No relation. Of course. So anyway, there. And so, and that's where we see Caesar says in his ITM, he says, I'm sitting here. I'm kind of thinking I was going to make a good impression. Because again, y'all, he thinks he's a Denzel. And. This guy's an international business. This guy's been, they're a golf pro. And he kind of says, what are they going to think about me? And when he said it, I was laughed. And then a part of me went, Aww. oh, come on. I know. No, look, 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 look. I know. Look, look. Because he just didn't get it. And now there's this part of him that realizes, wait a minute. Could I be the problem? <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll never get there. Um, <laughs> but I, I, wanna, I want you to. To think about this, imagine the hubris of thinking with maybe two grand or however much this woman would, that 15 women, your personal harem, are going to be waiting for you. Oh, yeah. If you believe that and there's not going to be other four other creeps picking over them like vultures. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think the whole thing's as quaint as you do. <laughs> No, I don't think it's quaint. <laughs> I think it's really gross. And so I... But it, it's not quite. but just, the, again, you said it. The fact that Caesar doesn't get it. No, he doesn't it, get it. It's like we're... You know what it is? I felt like we were in like one of... Like a movie. I just saw this. Like, I forget. It was not a good movie on Netflix. Kevin Hart was in it. I watched it at my mom's house. Me time. Time. Where maybe it was me, too, but that's the new one. No, no, this was like from a year. But basically, it's one of those movies. <laughs> Netflix. Like, you, no one watches a Netflix movie from a year ago. When you're at your mother's house <laughs> well, and it's all, you so. got nothing else to do, you when watch you said whatever. You just watched it. Well, it, yeah, it was like when was it was like a year ago. Um, so it wasn't that soon. But any of those movies where someone doesn't realize they're in a drug ring, they think they're at a carnival. You know, all uh, those type of movies. That were, was the plot of a Kevin Hart movie? I don't remember. The, but I'm just trying to make. <laughs> there's so many 80s and 90s comedy movies where it's like one guy is the cop, an uh, undercover cop, and then somebody gets thrown into it and they don't know that they're part of this like crime ring. Oh, That's the yeah, kind of one movie of kind I of feel like we're in. And, mistaken identity. And, and Caesar has no idea that he's about to go to a fucking drug deal where people are just going to shoot people down and steal Ukrainian yeah. women. And human trafficking. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But he but he's he's thinking it's gonna be his Yeah, this is this is what worries me, y'all, because we get into this we get into this matchmaking thing and there all these women are there and they're matched and it all feels quite trafficky yeah, to me. It's... Um, and especially when the I saw these men in the car, yes. I'm like, You were flown here on a private jet. Can you imagine all of their faces when they see Monopoly Caesar walk in? The women? Yes. No. No, the women are going to be more, more. Uh, they're 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 going to have good poker faces on. God, I would love to talk to a camera person that was at this trip. Yeah, the whole the whole storyline. I laugh, but if I think too much about that, it, yes, it yes, yes, completely skeeps me yes, out. Yes, that is it. Yeah. If you can't think too much about it. <sighs> All right, y'all, let that settle in. We're going to go take a break, and we'll be right back with. Ooh. Come on, Kiwi, let's go have some sexy time. Mom, can we kill him after? Later. All right, Pee Wee, we got the we got the one suitcase that's got lots of clothes in it, and the other suitcase has got things that aren't clothes. You know what I mean? No, Mom. What do you mean by things? I mean all kinds of lubes. Huh? Do you know lubes? You mean- it's like nice face lotion. I love it when you put nice lotion on me, Mom. It makes me feel so well, special. It's lotion, but it puts it on your lono parts. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's got other stuff, fun things. Oh, That's what the, uh, the other thing, the other suitcase are fun things. No, 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 no,
we hear Felvis playing. <laughs> that is fake Elvis. Fake Elvis. He just went with Felvis. He's gonna go back to the We're gonna pack two suitcases. It, 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 take it, them it, to it, the room. It does kind of sound like we're going to have sex soon after 13 <laughs> years. Oh, damn you new. Ho, ho. Get your vagina out. Get your vagina out. Get your vagina out. Get your vagina out. They do go into great. It's kind of amazing. They spend so much time finding this garbage royalty-free shit. Oh. That you know that's someone's job. And to, it seems like to pay that person, <laughs> it would cost less than to find a completely b-side of elvis i don't maybe i would really enjoy this is jumping ahead but did you hear the royalty free version of uh in sync and veronica i did hear it what what was that band called poodle did that 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 was called lockstep (laughs) (laughs) we're lockstep spelled l-c-k-s-t-e-p yes o Yes, uh, only only the 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 consonants. Yes, okay, okay. Yes, We're no e. In yes. In lockstep <laughs> with you, you in my heart. It was great. I it was good. I actually kind of was like, I would go to that concert at lockstep. <sighs> I I just no. I kind of want to know these people. Like meet someone. What do you do? Oh, I sing royalty free. Uh, I'm in a band <laughs> called Lockstep. <laughs> the or, thing I'm is, Elvis. the thing is. It's, I believe, I think they can't tell people what they do for a living or something oh. like that. Or Let us know, you guys, if you record, if someone records royalty-free shit. Well, you can't tell us. I, but I wonder if, like, because I remember someone, I remember who, someone who did voiceover, and they couldn't reveal what they did. And it turns out they did, they did demo work for uh. big uh, singers. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. All right, so um, we see Mother Debbie, and so she's uh, she's basically getting ready uh, because Tony she's is coming. She's 70 years old tomorrow. She, tomorrow. Yeah. And Tony is coming Kiwi. from British Columbia. Yeah, so. She's got him flowers. She's 70. Pee-wee. I'm only 60 because I didn't come around until she was 10. <laughs> she just He just appeared. Yeah, I'm still waiting for my... AARP card. Um, and y'all, there he is. He's in the hotel. What she says before he comes, I have to say, again, Debbie in a way is, it, it is riveting to me to watch because this is someone who feels like she's running out of time. We just, she actually is. And we yeah. just saw her have this horrible fight with her son who she's totally right. enmeshed with the stakes couldn't be higher th- that he said you're a bad mother Ugh. i mean i would never say that to my mom uh i don't think my mother would get over that my mother would never get over that i don't and, think so and so and debbie said she's not going to get over that so but she says she says like i want romance yeah. She's like i want i don't want thank you man i want romance i have to have this now. she said what i he- want I'm sorry. Uh, She said, I want someone to love me with all his heart and soul. That is my birthday wish. Oh. And I like literally. Again, like Caesar, if you don't think too hard about it. (laughs) (laughs) That, you know what? I think that's that should be be the slogan of of Single single Life. life. (laughs) Single Life. Single Life season three. Don't think too hard about it. Cause that's just true. let yourself be taken away. Yeah, Cause that's Natalie. You think it's all fun, and then you really think about oh, she's God. a lunatic. Yeah. No, it's the same thing with Tania or Tanya. Yeah. When you think about Tanya saying, "You're not my soulmate," and, oh. and things like that, and just or awful things Tanya said, or ridiculous things she said, and it's especially with someone like. Uh, uh, or Tiffany later. We haven't seen Tiffany, but well, boy, I have old. to. I have to really rewire my brain. We are. Oh. Um, so she just. But did you notice the way Debbie was sitting at the bar and she was so nervous and waiting I, for him? And she even said this. Uh, she's like, "What if he doesn't turn me on? What if I don't turn him on?" Again, it's Hope so for twinges. <laughs> Mama, no one 
we talking about twinges? Who were the twinges, no, Pee-wee? Mom. That make, you know I don't like I love it. a good twinge. Makes me feel electric. I found uh, it all the way down in my poo poo. No, no, it makes <laughs> me want to jump to the other side of your face. <laughs> um, but... But this is relatable. We all, when we go on a first date, you know, go. It's true. We have these like, and she's saying this, and it goes back to. Eh, sometimes, it, sometimes I'm quite calm because I know where it's going to wind up. Wow. <laughs> wow. Or I'm excited, but only the excitement of the hunt. Yeah. So let's because talk I'm, about Debbie. That I'm, actually is I'm less. I'm disca- spying. I'm spying a a gazelle at the edge of the savanna. <laughs> I would rather talk about Debbie making out with Tony because that grosses me out less than this. That than gazelle has t- wandered from the flock. Yeah. Pounce, uh, Jaguar, pounce. Uh, <laughs> all right. So wow. So he does. He comes in and they just kind of kiss and hug, and she kind of almost like. Falls into him like Nicole yeah. does to Azen. Yeah. In a way. This is not as weird. It was sweet at first. Then I had to look through my eyes. I mean, they start making out in this bar. And it then, was the mouth sounds. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of that. And then they go to the rooftop. And they're at the re- And like old people, they just start talking about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They do. <laughs> Yeah, usually this cold in Las Vegas. Uh, so it, it's like, oh, it's cold where I'm from. Of course, you live in British Columbia. We get it. It's cold up there. Why are I we talking about this? Said minus three, and she's like, there in Hunter Celsius. <laughs> minus, there is one What's zero there? in Celsius. <laughs> if that was oh, minus my. three Celsius, we would be in the Ice Age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Um, they so, talk about their dating history, and Tony tells us it's been about five years, and and then he just kind of looks at her, and they're just staring into each other's eyes. The, and Debbie, she starts this getting is, that tingle again. She's like, I'm getting all tingly. Ooh, I can feel it all the way there, radiating like fingers going all over my ooh, body. Ooh, ooh. And then, Get ready. And then Tony says, how would you like to go inside and come up to my hotel room? You know that's a great move, <laughs> and I gr- and I like it that there's no pretense about it. No, if it was me, if I would have been Tony in this situation, Tony, Tony, Tony. if I would have been Tony, I was like, is it a little cold? You want to go up? You just want to? You want to like just hang out in my room for a minute, or want to have a drink in my room? But this is you. No, this is you at forty four. Imagine yourself. Thank at- you for giving away my age on the air. <laughs> nice. You've said it. Maybe. What's wrong? Don't with like it? to hear it repeated. <laughs> From now on, I'm in my forties. <laughs> there is no second digit. <laughs> And I'm going to be in my 40s for over 10 years. I'm telling you that now. But imagine when you're 70. You don't want to fuck around. You're going to say, no, it's hey, fair. you want to come up to my room? And you know what's going to happen. No, it's fair. Even Debbie said, I wish you would have got around to it sooner. So they are making out and they're doing I'm going to stop you right here, y'all. I didn't know this was going to happen so much to us. But I was watching this on Discovery+. Plus. Oh, let's not do this again. We've all, already done this once this week. It already, no! It, already, it went kind of staticky. I had like a... And suddenly I see... to get your TV fixed. And suddenly I see the single life after dark. I hate this. <laughs> I hate everything about this. I don't like doing this segment. <laughs> I don't think our listeners do either. If you want to turn off to this, please tell me. I don't like doing these. <laughs> so, I love being, I I don't think I don't think I should be dragged into doing a bit. <laughs> you better bring it because you're playing the role of Mother Debbie. I'm gonna be well, Tony I guess and Pee Wee. I'm a professional. And action. Welcome to my room, Debbie. Uh, oh, you're nice. Yeah, this I is, like the like the bedspread. Oh, um, kind of looks quite inviting. I don't think he wants to talk about the bedroom. I you, think he's got a he's got a weary look at him, Mom. Do you want to sit down here on the bed, Debbie? What's that in your yeah. pants? Oh, Debbie. Is that a gun? Are you just happy to see me? Oh, I think I brought something else from the BC. My husband used to collect guns. 
Here, Debbie. Mm, yeah, I'm loving the no. taste of your face. Mom, no. Here, get on the side of my face, no, right here. Mom. No, mom, don't please mind the pee wee though. No, <laughs> mom, if we fuck him, can you kill him? Can we kill him after, mom? Maybe after a year. I gotta, I gotta get some use out of this one. I, I need a good dick in pee wee. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Oh, Debbie. Oh, oh Debbie. Oh, oh, oh let wow. me unfold you into my body. But what'd you do down there, Debbie? Is that into a? Did you shave that into a shape? Now that's the bikini line, ain't it? <laughs> mom, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, Mom. <laughs> it looks like a deer, don't it? <laughs> mom, you're going to ruin Baby. You know I love that movie because they kill his mom. Look, though, and guess what? It's hunting season. <laughs> That was disgusting. <laughs> wow. I went somewhere and I couldn't go back. <laughs> I, liked, I liked it that you even stopped doing Pee Wee. You just kind of sat over there. <laughs> See, that's the deal. You protested, but I got to give it to Poodle. I'll you're show a, up and you're do a, it. You're a method actor. I'm a you performer. got to do it. Wow. Wow. So, Veronica. <laughs> it's hunting season. <laughs> it's hunting season. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Oh. So, Veronica and oh. Tim are in her, their bed, or her bed, with, with masks. And, y'all, they have this codependent relationship. That's just them. Yeah, they and do. They're, they're, uh, and they're pretty upfront with it. Like Veronica says, Tim is like my sister with a penis. <laughs> I'm sure he loves hearing that. I'm now, sure. he, he is in a relationship now. Tim he is, is in a relationship. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, yeah. And so, now, but what I loved is we find out a bit about Veronica. We, we had never heard of this before. No, I liked it. We find out that she, uh, her parents, she lived in, grew up in Florida. Her parents are from Cuba. And she talks about, I was kind of like, and we see these these pictures of her as a teenager. And she was this kind of dorky, awkward yep. kid. And then she said, I kind of, uh, she said. Didn't speak English till she was six. Till she was, and she said, basically, I, I went to college and I stopped eating Cuban food and I lost <laughs> weight, which I will gain weight on. It's amazing. Yeah. It's some of my, yeah. and it is, oof, it's good. I remember taking Aunt Peggy and Aunt Darla and they just thought it was weird. It's very starchy, too. Oh, God, it'll it's just, so yeah. good. Oh. It's, it's good. Good stuff. Too many, too many tostones. Oh, maybe we can go to Victor's when we're in New York. We don't have time. No, we, we actually don't have time. <sighs> So good. So, and she said I was pregnant at twenty, and the par- my parents made me get married because that's what you do in a Catholic family. And later on, and it didn't it didn't last. Mm-mm. Um, and like they got divorced very like the baby she was a year yeah. year and a half. And she so she said, guess what though? I met Tim at a bar. He was the most ha- I see. I'm gonna go up to the most handsome guy there and kiss him. They were in a relationship for six years, and that's where we see. Kudos to the music supervisor because Kim does look like fucking in sync in 1994 with his hair and his clothes. Tim, you That's, said Kim. Oh, I said Kim. Yeah. Tim. He does. So the he fact, does look like NSYNC. the fact that they played uh, lockstep. I appreciated yeah. it. We're lockstep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, and she said he's become a great dad to Chloe, and I don't know what I'd do without him in my life. So, but they got, but they broke up after she said seven years or something like six that. Six years. Six yeah. years. And, um, and she said, now I just, now I have a great life. I just need love in my life. But they, the, the crux of this is, is that, like Veronica says, I talk to your girlfriend, Tim. She says, I talk to her all the time. Right. So whoever is in their life needs to be comfortable with, right. And Veronica the other in their has life. been talking to a guy. But Tim has not met him or hasn't talked to them. And they've been talking. She said they've been talking for months. She said, this guy looks like you. He has dark hair and blue eyes. He looks nothing like no, Tim. No, this guy's gorgeous. I'm, He's hot. We see his shirt off and holy Got shit. Got abs. He just needs a little under eye cream. I kind of thought that was cute about him, his little circles. Because it means he's straight? Oh, no. I, no, I just thought it means, I don't know. I don't what? know. 
know. Think I about gotta, what that means to I you. I process that yeah. for some reason. Maybe he's a hard worker. He's up late on nights or he's up late <laughs> fucking. Again. He stays up late giving me that D. All of these happen. And then gets up they, and goes to work in the morning. These seem to be things that. Baby <laughs> takes a morning train. Yeah, I think you he just processed me it. down that night and then he calls back working for me. It's hunting season. Well, <laughs> I think it's just that they're genetic. Because yeah, I, genetic. if I don't take care of my under eyes, they're like that for me. Because it's both genetic. my mother and father have, have Y'all, dark, dark eye eyes. creams that handle under eye circles, they don't. They just kind of cover them up with a little lumina, lumifier so, or illumination. Yeah. But they don't can't get rid of them. But I do. But when I moisturize mine, it's a lot better. It's better, but it won't. Yeah. yeah. No, I still have them. You only get rid of them, really. You can put filler, but I prefer you put some of your own fat from your leg or your abdomen, <laughs> and that's what you put it. That's what I'm going to do. You sound like a surgeon. I prefer to do this. <laughs> what? That's what I'm going to do. Yours is yours are uh, yours go down in a way. Mine kind of go across. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do. Just have them put that fat in there. I wish I could just make my eye socket not as deep. <laughs> but it, it looks deep because as you age, you're I losing. I see. The, so the under eyes are the first thing really to age on someone. So that's why when you see teenagers and they, they it's just smooth there because they still have that fat under their eye. Oh fuckers! So you just need someone to put some of your fat oh. under your eye. Why can't I eat fat? And it would put be it nice if we. God, to gain weight under your eyes wouldn't that be a blessing? Instead of my ass. Um, so y'all, his name is Justin. They met on a dating app. Maybe that's what a uh, uh, honey woman's mom wanted. Mama June? No, honey. Uh, who makes honey? Uh, Anna? Maybe Anna's mom wanted that. Instead, she got those cholesterol pockets. Oh yeah, she got fat on her eyes. <laughs> God, I was that was I was like honey woman. Anna and Marcel. They have a baby now. Mm-hmm. Anyway, looks just like Marcel. It does. So. They are, and he's like, he's never been married. He has two kids, though, who are four and eight. And Tim's like, Chester Cheat is like, why you want to do that? Why you want to do that? You suck at dating, girl. I don't like this guy already. It's not going to work out. And she's like, Tim. And then she kind of says, I think maybe you're right. But so, and she said, and also Tim says, she's very independent, a lot of girl, guys don't know. It's just like, especially in the South, a lot of guys don't know how to deal with that. Because they're in North Carolina, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asheville. Asheville. I I'm sorry, Charlotte. 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 Okay. Um, we hope to go to Charlotte North, one North day. North Carolina's biggest city. Okay. Charlotte. Love that airport. Yeah. Got a Bojangles there. <laughs> you made me I go. I Charlotte. You said, if yep. you don't go to Bojangles, I will not speak to you. And what'd you think? I'm glad I went. Yeah. That went. Good stuff. Someone got in a fight in front of me in line because their <laughs> their chicken didn't have a biscuit in it. Wow. And they got pissed. That's the reason to get pissed. <sighs> so they are And uh, Veronica's on our plate, y'all. She said he has abs, and more importantly, he has a 401k. Girl. Y'all thank you. Cause you know why, y'all? Veronica's a dick pig. She is. She is a dicky she dick are pig. People. She are people. But a lot of dick pigs, you gotta, you gotta, you wanna want the dick. Yeah. But the second level of that, you're a money pig. Yeah. You want money. Yes. Yes. Sadly, Poodle's dick pig wins out. <laughs> Every time. Every sadly. Every time. Uh. So. She basically says uh, that Tim, she's like, in the past, I've chosen Tim over all my boyfriends. Yeah. So, so obviously, all that's going to be the big that's conflict gonna be, yes, yes, of yes. this season. It is date day. Date and, night. And uh, he brings her, she, she brings her flowers. She's like, I'm not a big drinker. Remember that? Yeah. And he's a vegan. He's, and Yes. And Tim's face is like vegan. Vegan. Ah, what? What? So, but they do Puffs have a mart on vape. They they do have an espresso <laughs> mart. I need to have an espresso martini. Have you had one? I have one. Have one. The only reason I've never had one is usually it's like eight o'clock at night. If I have that, I'm gonna be up all night. You're old. I, let's move on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can have, but there's not a ton of espresso in them. Okay. So. But that's very old that you're worried about I guess about the it. alcohol brings you down. Yeah. Or maybe you want to be up all night. 
when you're having that's one. That's true. It's Sometimes it's better to be up. I guess that is a good... You're going to knock them back. That is a good fucking drink. It is. Yeah. Knock them back. This is kind of what I love about Veronica, y'all. She's dating with something in mind because she's there. Have dinner and she's... And I have to say, y'all, this guy is totally boring. He is. Like, I think she's throwing I, him interesting conversation. I'm not saying this because we love Veronica. I she's think, throwing interesting conversation and he's not. Uh, can I say this? Most straight men are boring. Wow. I'm sorry. Y'all know it's true. Oh, God. There's maybe oh God. there's maybe 35%. That's being generous. Send your letters to Jake. 35% of straight men are interesting. You know what? I'm being generous. Oh, God. 25. The other are completely uninteresting. If you listen to this show, you're interesting. I'm sure your husband's fine. A lot of people are looking at like they're like, you know, I love my husband, but he is boring. <laughs> Or maybe you found one of the 25%. Maybe. I'm telling you, 25%. The rest are dull. Oh, God. And they can only talk to their friends about sports or titties. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And we, and we live in a place where I would say the, the, the straight men, interesting straight men ratio here is probably 30, 35. There are more interesting men here. Um. I've We're going to get letters. <laughs> We're going to get letters. I'm sorry. Um, but he is boring because he talks about, or straight guys talk about just working out all yes, the time. Yes, I'm telling you. And that, and like literally on his off. why women are just a different species altogether. They were better they really, species. Oh, women are the higher, the, the better, and yes. And they're just more interesting. They are, because who knew Veronica is into fucking magic? I loved this. And she juggles. Yeah. She went to magic camp. She did go to magic camp. If magic Nerd. Camp, if magic camp had been available to me, oh, I no. would have totally gone I to magic I would have gone camp. to, but we're nerds. Y'all, I was into magic. Um, but unfortunately, unlike my oldest nephew, who tries to put magic tricks on me, I was actually halfway decent at it. And he's like, wait, wait, I did that wrong. I'm like, you had one chance. Now you already revealed it to me. But you really weren't that good a magician because you were just trying to get a man to appear. Fair. <laughs> no, I was, no, I was trying. I was trying. It's like, I was trying. I, I was like, how can I show you I'm gay in five words? <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> it's true. Um. Yeah. And so she can juggle. She took a circus skills class. Like, she's saying interesting things. I bet this is Veronica's, like, this is my lead-in on a first date. Yeah. Because you all I, should have good things to talk about on a first I date. I also think a lot of people, I don't do this because I think of a lot of people are guarded on first dates. They are, but he's boring. And I think she, this is what I think. This isn't what Veronica, I'm not... I, don't I know, know if he's that boring, but we're I, not talking to Veronica. I don't want to know what yeah. her strategy was. I want us I to find, just watch. I find men, I know of men who are a lot more boring than he is. No, yeah, that's well, it's that's because he has abs, and I think he has a decent dick. It's a nice dick. It's a nice dick. It's not Thanksgiving dick. No, it's a, it's a it's nice, a nice dick. dick. It's a nice, it's a nice dick. dick. It's a boyfriend but dick. I kind of do. You think? I think Veronica was kind of like in her head. You know, this guy's boring, but he's cute. Let's go back to my Let's house for a night. Let's go. She's fuck. like drive, drive you back home, and those, and y'all. She walks in. Yeah, they drive back home for a night. Chester cap. Cheetah is there on the couch, just flicking his tail. <laughs> Yo, I'm a cock really block. a good tail flick. <laughs> yeah, the tail. <laughs> uh, he is a cock block. That is cock blocking to the nth power. And I was proud of Veronica being a dick pig. And y'all, he just sits down and Tim just kind of looks at him. He's like, hey, there. Hey. And Ver Veronica Cabello's like, I she don't know what to do. She just leaves the room. She just leaves and they're both just sitting there. And Tim's kind of looking at him like, Who's going to say something first? And that guy is just like staring at him like, I can't believe this is happening. He <sighs> had such blue balls, too, because he thought he was at least he, getting a blowjob. Yeah, he thought he was going to get a BJ. Uh, because she wore her hair down. And yes. Y'all, when ladies wear, just so you know, because I know so much about straight dating. When you wear your hair down for a man... He thinks, he thinks of like when he used to watch those sexy kind of porno movies, he's just thinking about you laying down and, and your, your hair, hair falling, falling all over his you, balls. And the, yep. And then you taking your hand and brushing your hair and flipping it back and going, 
oh, it's so beautiful, and then sucking his but, dick, which in your head you're just thinking, I wonder how much he contributed to that 401k when but, you're tickling his balls. I know. Like I'm saying, that's not un- – women aren't thinking about that. Women, no. Yeah. No. But They're sitting – you're sucking his dick, and while he closes his eyes, you're looking around with your eyes to <laughs> see what he's got to see if he, has, if he actually has a decent job. <laughs> That's, That's what true. I do. You're looking at pictures, any ex wives. Yeah, they're yeah, their heads yes. back. They're going, oh Lord. You're like, does he really have two kids, or is there a third one in there? I don't know. Are about. these Brooklyn in sheets? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there a safe? Women are the better species. Yeah, it's just more evolved, really. More evolved, yeah, really, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. And he even says, "What you think about her?" And Veronica's like, "I'm right here." <laughs> Don't talk about me like I'm not here. Like I'm not here. And y'all, he just and Tim's like Tim just says, "Uh, it's getting late. You need to. I'll walk you out." And she goes, "Huh?" And he's like, "Yep." And he just walks. And Tim and Veronica, she says to him later, she's like to Tim, she says, "Fuck my life." Yeah. And he just heads home. He's like, "You cock blocked me." And uh, and Tim's like, "You're gonna uh, what is he? He's like, you're going to oh, you're not gonna fuck around with this girl." So, yeah, I, I, that's what this season's going to be about for them. Can we talk about someone? I know it's a long show because. Why is this a long show? Because single life is one of the most interesting but things But it's 45 we talk about. fucking minutes. Also, it makes us go off on tangents. Us? <laughs> <laughs> it's not just me. Anyway, y'all. So, Tanya, who. Again, is giving us Tania, starting to give us Tania energy. Oh, yeah. Tania vibes for sure. All we, you really know about this, well, we can cut this segment shorter in that, like, they're going around. They go to the these caves. This is all great. None of it matters because there's bats in the caves. Yeah. Mm. Hey there, boy. Hey there. I want to botcha. I want to botcha. Um, none of it matters because this guy can't get past fast. To, uh, I thought we. Okay, she's not divorced. You're fine with it. But then they go to the beach, and he, he actually, brings it up again. He never said he was fine with it. No, I mean, I thought we were fine oh. with it. It was kind of like, he brings it up again on the beach. Well, and I think it's fair. I think it's fair. It's not, you know what it is? It's not that she really, though. It's this is a value judgment now. Because she didn't say, yeah, I should have told you I'm actually not divorced. But she keeps goading at him to be contrary she's like well i don't think i'm divorced so she she because she had to be right that her version of divorce wasn't what his version was yes she had to try to convince him of that which instead of really just being upfront about it but and i think though again look i can i can see the i can see the uh, the brights the bright side of I don't know of a fucking like whatever of of, of 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 something terrible I don't know forest fire whatever I can but in this case I'm like Tanya I almost said Tania um it's a marriage contract yeah like you are married well it's it's, it's this it's this idea of no the sky isn't blue to me yeah uh, my definition is the sky is a uh, fuchsia no it's Blue. And, and also, she's not taking into any account that anyone else's version isn't what she thinks it is. And if you're going to be dating, you can't just explain away a contract. And everybody knows everybody knows gravity pulls things down. Yeah. So you can't argue against. It's a contract. I think my biggest thing he's is. Hot, oh, he's so hot. She's like, so I'd love to see you again. But that means you're not going home. And he's kind of like, so why was I even here? Because <laughs> she's saying, because I'm I think this can continue on. And. I want to take it slow if this can continue I'll on. I'll be shocked if he wants to see her again. But here's my question for you. Would you date someone who was married? No. Like, I'd fuck someone who was married. Like, not divorced yet. Yes. I don't know. Especially, I, do, I don't know if I would go on a second and third date. Even if when they said, especially if they hadn't started divorce proceedings. It, it's different. It takes a while to file for divorce. Yeah. So if they had filed for divorce and they're going that through might that might be problem, different. That would th- that is different. That means you put yeah, in I action agree. the contract. Yeah. It's but uh, you only otherwise you only have her word that they are that they are she's like in my head we're divorced and he's like were well, you going to 
get on it. He's like, I don't think I have to. Yeah. Because I think I would have, I don't know if I'd have sex with somebody. I mean, I think I would. Eh. I would just want to make sure it was on the up I've and up. I've done it. <laughs> I think I've been named in several suits. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I'm, but I just want to say, it's not that she's filed paperwork. No. She's almost refusing to do so, and everyone's having to take it, her word for it. it de- it's not important to her. Right. But it, again, that's that saying. And the, but the, guess what? If you want to drive a car in this country, you have to get a license. But I don't want to get a license. I don't. And I'm like, well, then you can't drive a car. I, in my head, I mentally have a driver's license. And but spiritually, I have a driver's license. That's what it's like. <laughs> well, then you can't drive a car. It. And and it's and she's so hard headed and contrary that she doesn't understand that someone else could think differently about it. Yeah, it's kind of this this new age like so optimism that everything's okay. I'm like, no, it's not. Like this not is a black and white okay. issue. There are black <laughs> and white issues in life sometimes. So we move on to. There's, I'm captured by your heart. That was a good song too. Captured by your heart is Natalie just looking crazy. Uh, uh, it was uh, Taylor, not Taylor Dane, but uh, Taylor uh, Opie Taylor. Opie Taylor. (laughs) Opie Taylor Spaniel. Whatever. Yes. Um. So she's she's like let's not get left alone. I left alone. And Joshua, I slammed the door. Because Joshua refuses to be committed at her first date. <laughs> Second date or whatever. Yes. But she's like, because he refuses to uh, to acknowledge commitment. And then we hear, ding. Oh. He's like, come downstairs. So she's angry. And then now she's just flippantly happy. I could watch this oh. maniac. She, I really realized what she is. She's the, <sighs> she is a human tilt a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it is nothing but funny to Put me. Put her in Alice in Wonderland because she is mad as a hatter. She is, uh, it is, it is absolute cuckoo. Oh. And I, that's why I'm saying if I had a lot of money, I would just, she could get her own reality show, and the cameras just followed her. Nonsense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it would just be soundbite after soundbite after soundbite of her saying cuckoo shit. I know. I y'all, this is behind the scenes. It's not going to happen because they won't. She won't be able to do it. But I begged Poodle. I'm like, please let us just try to invite Natalie to our Tampa show. She won't come. <laughs> and he's like, what are we going to do with the interview with her? I'm like, it'll be just fucking bonkers. No, it would be the most uncomfortable interview ever. Oh, I know you're right, but that that cringe part of me that loves to watch cringe just play out would love it, but it probably would backfire on me because it would be on us. Yeah, it would just be weird. So you invited me to a picnic on a beach. I said yes. Oh, I'm fascinated by this car, a Tesla. (gasps) I need to say, about ten years ago, the people who drive Teslas were ridiculously rich. About five years ago, it was only douchebags, the douchiest of the douches. Now. It's half and half in California. I, I see so many. There are a lot of like young douchey guys though, yeah. especially. Kind of like, I'll be honest, who kind of give off a Josh vibe. Yeah, they do. Who own Teslas now. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like I miss Hollywood's movie. And I, and I love it. And I love it, yes. So she's like. And he says, he said, Josh says, it's a beautiful day on the water. You can say I'm beautiful. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, yeah, you are gorgeous. Thank you. You're beautiful, too. You're gorgeous. Just cuckoo magoo. Oh, just. And then she says, uh, if something that bothers me. So they're on the beach now. I think they're, are they in Malibu? It looks like they are. Looks like it. It. It's a beautiful beach day. And y'all. Again, this is date three. If you don't watch this show, if you just listen to us. Go back and at least just watch this beach scene because it <laughs> was madness. Yeah, it was. It really was. It really was. She just goes, so, why didn't it work out with your ex? Oh, well, you know, uh, we were young in our 20s. We, you know, we got married. What about the second mother of your child? 
Well, you know, I don't really want to tell you that I just I actually was kind of at Hooters and got too drunk. But was that, you it know, planned? Just, no, it wasn't planned, but sometimes things happen. But you know what? I, I'm so grateful I have my daughter. She's the love of my life. You know, one is the mistake. Two is a habit. Three times is a failure. No, it's a fate. Fate, sorry. It's a fate. It's a fate. I've been married three times. I think of myself as failure. That's what she said. I think of myself as failure. And I love that she said, she said, one time it's mistake. And then didn't put the uh. And then the second, she said two times it's a habit. Yeah. And then three times it's a fate. It's a fate. It's a fate. Uh, so after that. Uh, wait. Oh, no. We got uh-uh. We got to unpack that. <laughs> what does that mean? I, well, I think it really means. Someone, some fortune teller said it to her, where one time is a mistake, two times, it's, it, you're repeating your patterns. I don't really know what three, I think third, three times is a fate means that's what you're, you're that's locked what you're, in you're going that? to. Yeah. And, but it, it, it did make me laugh like a hyena when she said this and then said, but I, or she said, I was married three times yes. and she doesn't even get, I, I, I went, you're not even trying to like have empathy in a situation. No. I, I just went, why is she She flips saying, into herself. She like is saying like, and Josh says, well, people can change and that happens in life. I, I, I kind of, I actually understood her thought process thusly. I think that she scares was, me about you. I know, but this I is think, the woman who hugged a tree poodle. I think, <laughs> I think she was saying that we're both broken. Okay. That was her way of being convivial. Okay. Um, but what what it, what happened was it sounded like she was a fucking nutcase. Yeah. Um, That's what I got. Yeah. And then and then and then all of a sudden she, she just, just kisses him. But no, not kiss. She leans over and just puts out her lips yes. and looks at him and goes, hmm. "Y'all." She kisses him. He kisses him more. And she's a. She weird... turns away. She like stops oh, and then she leans she's coquettish. Again. Yes. And then they, they make out on the beach. And she says later on, He's scared. I'm scared of me not being able to control my feelings. I don't want to be hurt again. But again, she said, I decided I, m- I miss Kiss. I miss Kiss. And it was like in the Hollywood movies. Everything's a Hollywood. And then she says, I will cherish this memory. It becomes so sacred. So weird. Everything is so sacred. God. That's all I've got. I... I love this show. Show I love it. It's so good, y'all. It's my favorite ninety day. This this episode solidified. This is my favorite version of ninety day fiance. This is it's a ride for me, and it the the concept the concept shouldn't work because, like I said before, that's why the 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 subtitle should be if you don't think too hard, it's great. <laughs> it's great. Because I, I'm com- constantly reminded how, how garbage these people are, with the oh, exception of Veronica. It is. Yeah. All right, everybody. That's the show. That's the show. Sorry it was long, but God, it was fun. I had a good time. You can go to our, uh, our Instagram and our uh, TikTok. That's where you can find. We're really working on our meme game. And y'all, uh, producer Christina is pushing out. Believe me. We are getting inspired from the single life. <laughs> Believe you me. Believe you me. Believe you me. We get inspired. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. Mostly for worse. Deer hunting. Um, but anyway, y'all. So, hey, and follow us on social media. And if you are liking the memes that we put out, we post them in our... Y'all, all you have to do is press that little paper airplane button. Share that to your Instagram story. Love it. Share that to your TikTok. Sharing is caring. Help, help get the word out. It really means a lot to us. We, uh, we, uh, you know, the more that we grow, for some of you that say like, hey, why don't you come to Toledo or Des Moines? Well, we're not big enough to come to those right. big cities. Right. If you want us to come, though, the best way you can do that is if you share a show, we grow our show, and that actually gives us a bigger place. And it, we can go to fucking... And you're I don't the, know, Lincoln. And you're the person. We're not going to Lincoln, Nebraska. And you're the <laughs> one person who brought us to Toledo, Ohio. You're the one person. We'll never go to Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> never. But Anna and Marcel, though, we could do a show with them. No. No, we won't. Oh, she give us honey. We're not going to Alaska either. We. Sorry. You're going to have to come. 
What if we do a fly. what if we do a reality gaze cruise to Alaska? Uh, maybe I'll have to bring like several men. Think about <laughs> Alaskan gay men though; they're really hard up and really grisly. <laughs> Ooh, that is true. <laughs> on that note, y'all, uh, be sure to follow us on all the saints. Share if you care. And remember, we call these people lonely hearts because aren't we all just lonely hearts looking for love at all the wrong places? Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to shave your muff in the shape of a deer, I'm telling you, it's a real penny dropper. It's hunting season. <laughs>